Hi everybody, Mike Pfeiffer with Pfeiffer Hobby Supply. Uh, I'm going to do a little bit, something a little bit different today. Uh, I finally broke down and bought this. It's a King Joy uh, tripod. The tripod that the camera is sitting on right now, um, I, somebody stepped on it when I had it open down here on the floor and it's all bent and broken and all that. Uh, the King Joy uh, I got online on eBay I believe and I don't remember, I think it was about 60 bucks uh, but we're going to open it up. It's got a fluid uh, drive head and we're going to open it up and see how it works. I know there's a million reviews on this thing but I'm going to give you my opinion on it, okay? Let's take a look. Okay everybody, I'm going to try and back up. Here it is. Um, it comes in a really nice, I'm actually surprised, it's not a cheap plastic bag, it's a nice uh, nylon bag uh, with a uh, real heavy zipper on it, which is uh, pretty nice actually, nicer than I had suspected for the, uh, for the price. So let's get inside this bag and see what's in there. Okay, here's how it comes inside the nylon bag. Uh, it came with a little book. It's got a, a it was Q&A and, and uh, I'm hoping that it's not all in Chinese so I might be able to read it and get something out of it. But uh, there were there was a des desiccant pack inside of the nylon bag and there was a desiccant pack inside the box. So I doubt that we would see any kind of corrosion or anything on this. But I'm going to open up the book and I'm going to open this up and let's take a look. Okay, I think I forgot to mention that this model number on this thing is a VT1500. And um, pretty much here is what we're looking at. And I'm just going to let that sit there for a second so you can take a look. Uh, there's a nice set of instructions and the English is pretty good. I'm surprised. It tells you how to tilt and pan and change direction of the bar, raise and lower the center column, legs and all that. Well, it's pretty self-evident, but um, we're going to take a look and see. Put that aside. There is also a warranty card, and there is an English side to the warranty card, which is nice. And it actually, I'm just glancing over it, and the... Um, the um, translation is, is uh, extremely good on it. Just looking at it and reading over it, uh, I'm surprised once again. Um, apparently, King Joy is King Ju in uh, Chinese because that's how they have it written here. But anyways, nevertheless, let's take a look at this thing. Okay, my first impression when I took it out of the bag is it's very hefty tubing and it weighs I just took it out and put it on the postal scale and it weighs four pounds eight ounces um, I haven't really done anything yet but just manually uh, work it here without anything on it and I gotta say right out of the box touching this thing it's very very smooth and of course right now it's falling on its own there but there is an adjustment on the side here we can adjust Tighten it up just a little tiny bit, and it's holding pretty well. Tighten it up a little more. And right there, it's holding extremely well. Uh, it just works really smooth. Of course, I've never had one before, so, you know, I could be an idiot. But but I, I, uh, I don't know anything about uh, a lot of stuff about camera stuff. But, but... Um, like I say, my first impression is it's very sturdy. You can see how big the pads are, the foot pads are. I mean, they're like they're like twice the size of the ones on my uh, little chintzy tripod here. And I don't I don't have another tripod to um, I don't have enough tripods to get a tripod set up and and videotape uh, a, a camera on this. I don't have a, a massive of cameras, a mass of cameras or anything. But another thing I like about it is that none of my tripods I've ever had is it has a bubble level right here. I think that's handy for getting it set up, get the camera set up level. 
uh, just without having it on the ground. It, like I say, it moves really smoothly side to side. Uh, pretty impressed with the uh, the stop or the uh, lock for the extension here. I believe, and I don't remember uh, without going in and looking at the specs, but I think this is 60 inches tall. So it's going to be a little bit taller uh, than the tripod that I'm using right now right here. Uh, it's only about 5 foot. Uh, and I don't know what this one extends up to, but, but we're going to find out. I'll be right back. Okay, here's just a size comparison between the legs of the new one and the old one I had, which you can see has a broken foot off it there, and how substantial this one is versus my old one here, my cheapo. Um, and there again, this isn't a, a extremely expensive either for something with a fluid head. Um, I, I think it's a good value. One thing I did like is I noticed right away that the legs are very far apart here. However, this has a choke ring on it, so we can we can lift this up. I can lift it up like so, trying to do this one-handed. We can tighten up that choke ring, and we can just make it that far apart. So it is good for getting in tight spaces, and you can see without it even being extended up, it's nearly as tall as the other one I have. In fact, I would say it's only about an inch shorter, non-extended here. So we're going to put it up and, and uh, see how high it goes. Well, I'm going to stand back here a little bit. You can see that I had the legs, I brought the legs in, but you can see that it's substantially taller than my other one. I would say it's a good foot taller than the other one which will be kind of nice because it'll allow me to get some shots from higher up on the layout. Um, I just prefer it being a little taller. Um, and you can always lower the legs down to get it shorter. So um, I like that feature so far, the fact that it's taller. And I did look at that when I was looking at the tripods to make sure I got one tall enough. I do believe that they make this one in uh, other heights, but I'm not real positive about that. So now we're going to go take a close look at the fluid head. Okay, I have the legs extended all the way out, and I have everything down on my um, rubber floor here, and you can see that it's pretty much level, uh, which is a good thing. I'd hate to think the whole thing was on a slope. Um, what I've got to figure out now is uh, how to uh, attach to this thing. So I'm going to work on that right now, and then I'm going to put the camera on it and, and roll it around for you a little bit. However, I'm going to take one hand here. Let me see if I can back up. Panned out a little bit there. You can see that I can take... Let me raise this up. I can take one finger... And I can smoothly rotate that around. Very smoothly and with the same finger, single finger, I can pan up and down. I could do both. And very, very smooth movement. Very smooth. Very impressive, actually. Uh, here's the tension adjustment for side to side. Here's the tension adjustment for up and down. And uh, this lock here locks it in place if you want the left and right locked. This is the tilt lock if you want the tilt locked. This is the lock when you extend it up. And there's the handle to extend it. If I was to say one thing about this, the this, this extension handle looks a little bit on the chintzy side for the heft of the rest of the, um, of the tripod. Other than that, I have absolutely no complaints. I know that they've said it on other videos, but this is also reversible. The handle is also reversible. We can move it around and put it in. We can take this off and move it around to the other side uh, if we wanted to. Not exactly sure why, but... Um, Anyway, left-handed people maybe, I don't know. But I've got to get this the camera mounted on this uh, Insta mount here, and we'll give it a try. 
Okay, one thing I want to show you guys when I took this off. The uh, mounting plate goes underneath two little tabs here. And the this uh, lock has a pin right here. And it's also got a pretty hefty uh, spring on it. But I did notice that it even kind of returns slow. It doesn't just snap back, you know. It's got some spring pressure or something under it that allows it to come back real slow. That's kind of nice. It, it just Stupid stuff like that just gives it a more quality feel. So let me mount the camera back on here. Okay, I've got uh, I've got the tensions adjusted for myself, and it appears that it's holding steady right there. Um, what I'm going to do is just a little bit of a pan uh, left to right, and then I'm going to go up, and then I'm going to go across right to left. And it would appear by looking at the screen that it's very, very smooth uh, in the photograph. We're going to go up here and then we're going to start going right to left and up at the same time. Really, really happy with that. Really happy with the steadiness and the movement there. And here we are back nearly where we were. And I let go of the handle and you don't see it jerking anywhere. I'm going to move it one more time and just keep your eye out to see if it uh, loses where it's at or returns back. I think I might have seen ever so slightly there. Let me go up with it. Ever so slightly, it looks like it might return. I'm going to tighten up that adjustment again. And here we go. It looks pretty good to me. Anyway, that's probably about enough rambling about it. Um, I guess I'm like a kid in a candy shop. Uh, I like the way it functions. And I hope this improves uh, my videos from here on out a little bit. Same old camera, but a nice new tripod. And I really like the uh, fluid head. I don't know what else I could possibly say about this thing. But uh, I love it so far. And I'm going to turn it around and do the ending here. Hi everybody. I'm back. And I'm going to just pan up and down just a little bit here. So that you can see my ugly old work shirt. And don't look at this stuff back here because we're going to talk about it another day. Uh, but anyways, um, I did reverse the handle. I found out the use for it is I can stand here and, and operate it myself. And as usual, guys, thanks for watching.